This first tip comes in handy if you need to write something down quickly. Tap your pencil on the lock screen and you will have access to the notes page to write on without having to unlock your iPad. The note will go to the notes app and you can access them later. Now this feature only works with the second generation pencil. You also have a quick notes. This comes in handy for writing down those pop-up thoughts you have while working without leaving the screen that you're currently working on. You can simply swipe up from the right side of the screen and a small note will pop up and you can write or type on it. This can be used for reminders and to save websites or links. Here's a bonus. You can also draw shapes on the quick note and use them for stickers in your digital planner or journal. If you have written a note or a quick note that you want to convert to text, you can highlight the text and select copy as text, then paste it. You can copy and paste this to different apps such as GoodNotes, Notions, or even use it in an email. This next tip comes in handy when I'm completing research. By swiping up from the left side of the screen, you can take a screenshot. From here, you can write and highlight the screenshot. You can also use the full page option at the top to convert this screenshot to a PDF. You'll be able to scroll the whole web page and also continue to highlight and mark up anything you need to on this page. And once you're complete, you can save it to your files and you can also share it with others. To use or create a focus on your iPad, swipe down from the top right and select the focus tab. From here, you can use some of the pre-populated focuses or you can use the plus sign and create your own. In the settings of the focus group, you can decide what alerts and notifications that you want to receive and from whom you want to receive them. You have an option to customize the screen for each focus and only display certain apps that you're using during that focus time. You can set a schedule for the focus to automatically start based on the time of day, the location you're in, or the app that you're using. Using this feature creates the ultimate productivity environment while working on your iPad. Now I want to show you a few hand gestures that will speed up navigating with the iPad. You can use four fingers to switch from app to app by swiping across the screen. You can also use the gray bar at the bottom to switch your screen from app to app. And by swiping up, you can see all of the apps that you currently have open and close any apps you no longer need. Stage Manager is a great feature for multitasking, but it's only available on certain iPads. To access Stage Manager, swipe down on the right side and the app is in your control center. With Stage Manager, you can switch easily between apps, change the size and the shape of each window, and have multiple apps on the screen. If you need to copy text on the iPad, try this. Highlight the text, use three fingers in a pinching motion to copy, then paste by spreading the three fingers out. This is just a quick, fun way to use the copy and paste feature. One of the benefits of the Apple ecosystem is being able to share information across your devices. Handoff allows you to copy things from your Mac, iPhone, and iPad and paste them to other devices. For this to work, make sure that all of your devices are signed into the same iCloud account and have Bluetooth turned on. Okay, here's another bonus for you. You can use the pinch and release gesture to copy and paste from your iPhone to your iPad. Simply pinch in what you want to copy and spread your fingers out to paste. You can minimize the keyboard on your iPad simply by pinching your fingers together on the keyboard. Now you have access to the full app and you can still use the keyboard. And with the smaller keyboard, you have the option to swipe the text. To make the keyboard full size again, just pinch back out. The text replacement feature allows you to use certain text or phrases to add text. This feature has came in handy for me with stuff that I use repetitively. So for instance, if I type the at sign twice, it'll add my email address. To set this up, go to settings and general, then keyboard, and then it gives you the text replacement. 
This last tip is for everyone with an iPad and a MacBook. The universal control feature allows you to control your Mac and your iPad with the same mouse and keyboard. And all you have to do is set your Mac and your iPad side by side and it'll work. If for some reason this option is not working for you when you place them side by side, go into the display options on your MacBook and add your iPad as a display. These are just a few of the features I use on the iPad for productivity. Let me know if you've used any of these features or if you have some other features that have helped you with your productivity. If you have any questions, leave them below. All right, y'all. Till next time.